Good afternoon. This is Michael Davey, the Principal and Vocational Director here at Greater Johnson High School. I'd like to welcome you to the 2021 school year here. I'd like to talk about the buses and how you would enter in the building in the morning. Buses will proceed to come in the normal drop-off area in the front of the building. Students, please remember when getting onto the bus in the morning and while exiting the bus, you must have your mask on at all times. When riding the bus, it is mandatory to wear your mask and sit in your assigned seat. Sitting in your assigned seat is necessary for safety and to be able to perform the effective and accurate contact tracing should a potential exposure take place. Please remain seated throughout your entire bus ride and follow these guidelines to do your part to keep everyone safe. If you're dropping your student off or your child off, please pull into the stadium parking lot and have them proceed down the sidewalk to the student entrance at the front of the building. When you enter into the building, there will be a breakfast grab and go station at the security desk as well as other points throughout the building. While standing in the hallway prior to home room, please make sure that you are socially distanced in the hallways. Students, please remember you must wear a mask while entering the building and while being in the building at all times. If a student needs to meet with a guidance counselor, please schedule an appointment via an email with the guidance counselors and they will schedule you via Google Calendar. Parents, if you are planning on picking up your child early from school, please contact the main office so that the student can be called down and they are prepared to be dismissed when you call the school. If you must enter the school to pick up your child, please make sure that you are wearing a mask before coming into the main office. If you need to speak to a guidance counselor or to an administrator here at Greater Johnson High School, please make an appointment with our, the appropriate secretaries and they will schedule it with you. Ladies and gentlemen, the building has been disinfected and is ready for your arrival. Cleaning of high touch points is going to take place throughout the day by the maintenance team. Deep cleaning will also take place throughout the week once everyone leaves for the day. The district has acquired hospital grade electrostatic fogging machines specifically designed to disinfect all areas of the school and to kill off any virus or pathogen on any surface. Parents and students, the first line of defense against coronavirus is you. Please be sure to do a health screening at home prior to coming to school. Checking the symptom list and keeping your child home if they are showing specific symptoms or are ill is vital to the health and safety of everyone in our schools. We are counting on you to do your part on our team. Hi, I'm Bernie Conway, Assistant Principal of Greater Johnstown High School. I'm gonna speak a little bit about the traffic flow in the hallways. Um, as we come in the building, the main hallway by the main office, traffic will flow in both directions, but will be on the right-hand side. Stand the right-hand side, we go with the flow of traffic to the main hallway. You get on the main hallway from the main office toward the gymnasium, and that's the flow of traffic in that hallway. Everyone goes that direction. The wings on the first floor, traffic signage will be up to let you know which way to go. The second floor, traffic flow is from the gym end of the building back toward the main office. The eighth grade hallway on the second floor, traffic flow will also be on the right hand side. Stay to the right moving down the hall and exiting the hall also on the right hand side. The wings up there will be posted as well. The stairwells at the far ends of the wings will be for up traffic. The stairwells at the main hallway end will be for down traffic. The D wing hallway and E wing hallway we will move uh, with the flow of traffic staying on the right hand side of the hallway. The stairwell at the D wing will be an up stairwell. Um, the E wing again stay on the right hand side when you get down to the shop wing traffic flow is on the right hand side as well. Going into the cafeteria you enter the cafeteria on the right hand side the line will form down the right there's no a la carte line you'll go and get your lunch come back out sit everyone facing the lines in the cafeteria so everyone on the same side of the table when you dump you'll go down the far side of the cafeteria on the right and exit on the right hand side of the cafeteria door so there's a set of doors in and a set of doors out hi this is mr hoffman the assistant principal at johnstown high school 
I'm here to go over a couple of social distancing guidelines and some rules and procedures that we have in place to keep everyone safe uh, for this school year. In order for everyone uh, to practice social distancing in the hallways, um, we're asking everyone to stay six feet apart. Uh, masks are to be worn at all times uh, in the building, uh, except for when students are eating. So when students go to the cafeteria and then sit down to eat, they may remove their masks. Uh, as per the governor's order, students are to wear masks at all times. Sanitizer uh, for your hands and wipes for desktops will be in all classrooms and will be provided to classroom teachers. There are also sanitizer stations uh, in the hallways near restrooms uh, and in the cafeteria. Water fountains have been closed down, uh, but we have installed touchless water bottle refilling stations. We're encouraging students to come to school with a capped water bottle that they can refill throughout the day at these touchless stations. So in the cafeteria for lunch, we're gonna have up to three lunch options. Those options are gonna take into consideration food allergies and dietary restrictions and the meals will already be prepared and ready for you. So the line's gonna move quickly for a low touch, social distance cafeteria line. There's a hand sanitizer station available at the entrance of the service area over there. So please be sure to use that or wash your hands prior to coming in and eating. Masks are required to be worn, uh, except for when seated to eat. So please make sure to wear your mask through the line when you get your food, when you get up to dump your tray, if you're refilling your water bottle at the water filling station over there, um, or you get up to go to the restroom, then you mask up. Uh, once you are seated, keep your mask on you. Don't, uh, don't set it down on the table, though. Um, that's a recipe for getting it lost. So suggestion is either simply pulling it down under your chin like so, or if you don't like that, just pulling it ears take it off, you can wrap it around your wrist or your forearm like so. And enjoy your meal. Students that are participating in extracurricular activities for the day that are already here in the building are to report to their extracurricular immediately following the bell. Students are not to leave the building if they're participating in extracurricular activities. They must stay in JHS and report to the area where their extracurricular activity is set to begin. Students that are not in the building for the day, but are participating in extracurricular activities. Athletes for sports are to report to the gym entrance for their screening prior to participation. Band members are to report to the A-Wing courtyard for their screening prior to their participation. Okay, so you got a lot of information today to review. Number one, stay home if you're sick making sure that you're keeping not only yourself, but everyone else safe is of utmost importance. Number two, wear your mask. Acceptable mask types include cloth masks like this one, neck gaiters, or disposable medical masks. Make it a part of your back to school shopping list and make sure you have it with you and you're wearing it in the school at all times starting on day one. Follow the social distance, distancing guidance and use the hallways in the ways that they are marked. Please make sure that you're using those one-way stairwells and the directional arrows. Pay attention to where it is you're going and where you need to get to. You'll get used to it and we'll help you along the way. Lastly, keep updated information on file with the school district and stay informed. Guidance is constantly changing from the state, and we want to make sure that everybody's prepared to meet that guidance. So keep your info updated, keep posted with us, watch your emails, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We have district pages on all three of those platforms, and we'll try to keep everybody's updated as soon as we can get the information out. We are really looking forward to this school year. Uh, we know it's gonna bring unique challenges, but we're gonna get through those challenges together. Stay Trojan strong.
We'll see you in school soon. Bye, everybody.